Hi there, what's up, what's up? <laughs> so I am in Da Nang, Vietnam right now. Oh, look at my clothes, it's a little bit of a mess right here. Okay, anyways. Um, and you guys can scoot closer, like I'm not gonna bite you. <laughs> okay. Alright. <laughs> yeah, so we're in Da Nang and I was just talking about um, forgiveness and why that's really important for the Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, we're hanging out in a hostel, y'all. I wish you guys could see it. It's so beautiful here. Um, you can be in it. <laughs> um so yeah, how do you guys feel about it? I was saying that it was important to always forgive people because in the end of the day, all we have to give is love, right? One, and two, um, when you recognize your own power, which is like God within you, then you have to also forgive other people's transgressions because when you realize and you really look at things, everyone will hurt you. Our parents have hurt us in some ways. Our best friend have betrayed us in some ways. Our siblings have. I don't know, are you guys only children? Or you're just... Are you an only child? I'm uh, No. Oh, no. Third in my family. Yeah. Uh, child? Yeah. I'm second child. Second child. Yeah. And like, they've hurt us, right? And sometimes there's people that you're just like, I'm not going to forgive them. And what happens, as I read in a lot of uh, books, is your heart closes. And I had this experience most recently with a friend, a very special friend of mine. But we had this experience of eye gazing. Have you guys heard of that? Eye gazing? So you just stare into somebody else's eyes. Like you just gaze into them for uh, 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 an okay. unknown period of time. You need them to stare. Stare, yeah, you just like look into their eyes. And then at this point, this is where you really can connect with the other person. And you can like really see God and yourself in them. And then it's also recognizing that forgiveness is not so much for the other person, but for you. Yeah. Because when your heart is closed and things are tight, and then. Well, yeah. yeah. But hey, I have Vietnamese viewers, so please tell them in Vietnamese. Vietnam is cool, the coolest uh, place in the world. <laughs> okay, uh, when you are in Danan, Vietnam, especially Danan, you do have a lot of things to do. <laughs> I like how that went from. Uh, let's talk about forgiveness too. Let's party in Da Nang! <laughs> After you forgive, then we can go to Da Nang. But uh, yeah, it's just important that you forgive other people because it's actually forgiving yourself. And then you have to find that you actually have grown. Can you guys tell me a time where somebody did something that you realized, okay, I have to forgive them for this, or I didn't want to forgive them for this? so much or sometimes like that. but yeah because she she's my sisters and cannot change so okay yeah yeah I still love her so how did you forgive her like we all deal with that trust me like um how do you deal with like okay hate you I hit you right now! Oh my god! Like, and then you just like chill out. How do you do? How do you deal with that? Yeah. Do you just take time to cool off? Yeah, like sleep for nine and <laughs> wake up with a empty mind. Just forget it. Yeah. Or maybe some my friends. I I had a really close friend. And she did something wrong to me 
Why? She interested me. Sorry. And I'm my friend. Yeah. And how did you feel after you left that friendship? I think we should stop being friends. Yeah. What did she do? Oh, she insulted me, and she, because she did something that I don't like, so, so I like. I don't want to meet her. I don't want to talk to her. Sorry, she insulted so me. Mm -hmm. I think we should stop because her character has changed. That I I still love that. Do you? No, I don't know. You don't have any problems. You just love everyone. There's nobody that's pissed you off by with his life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's been a lot of people that have pissed me off too, and I'm like, I don't like your character. Your character's fucking shitty. Yeah. But um, then I remember that they're God. God created them, and so whether they're acting like it or not, I can still forgive you. It doesn't mean you're going to be in my life. Um, a lot of there's an acoustic set going on outside. You hear that, guys? <laughs> but there's a lot of times where like people will do things. Um, for example, people who grew up in abusive homes, we can forgive people. It doesn't mean that you're they're allowed to come back in. To your life, you can still love them and keep it friendly. Do you believe that? You can still keep it friendly with people who. Not for, not for that bitch that insulted you. Where's her address? Let's go. No. <laughs> just let them go. Slow, yeah, just let them go. Let them go. So, um, if you could tell yourself, like your younger self, something that you know. Yes, when you were. Now that you are uh, at this age, what would you tell yourself like five years ago or ten years ago? I know you were only ten. <laughs> yeah. What would you? Uh, if I. Have a chance to say something to my younger self. I would say I I should have learned harder. <laughs> oh, if maybe the result was not bad, but I think Learned what harder? Yeah. What did you need to learn harder? Like some some traits that I don't hate. Some traits. Okay. Some traits. So okay. Some traits that you don't like. And you? I wish you had a first love. <laughs> Tell your crush that you love her. Oh, <laughs> so cute. <laughs> it's alright, I'm right here, that's why. <laughs> uh huh, he's just trying yeah. to run away. It's and time. He has to go to work. Go back to work. Yeah, so see you. Bye, everybody. Yes. Bye. 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 Yeah, don't leave. But what if you don't learn that lesson? What if, like, what if it took all this time to learn what you have to learn now? <coughs> learn harder. Like, maybe not. For me, it's not about being hard on myself for at that time because at that time was what I needed to learn at that time. Right? Um, so. My experience most recently was um, when I talk about forgiveness, it is uh, not allowing that. Sometimes it's keeping a gate and just saying, I forgive you. Or sometimes it's just calling a truce and just being like, you know what? I also had to play a part in this. And you were my vibrational indicator. My vibration was way off. And um, even though you didn't act like it, and I don't like that you did that, I'm not allowing for your actions. 
to have that much power over me. I still have the most important relationship and that's with myself, my highest self, my vibration, which is ultimate love, ultimate goodness, ultimate forgiveness. So how can I move forward knowing that? And then knowing that, you just like love this person so much. Well, for me, I just like love so much after eye gazing, after spending time with this person and really seeing that if in the face of life, in the face of um, ad, uh, adversary, when we're like not seeing eye to eye or difference of opinions, they're really trying. Maybe this person's really trying. And I feel this goes for dating as well. Somebody who is really putting an effort to like recognize that they had done some wrong um, and saying, wow, I don't even know why I did that, but I don't want to hurt you again. Maybe it's worth the effort of forgiving that person in that relationship. But for me, it's another thing when you share with someone it, it's abusive over and over again and you say that hurts, right? So you tell your a lot of people who contact me, it's like their parents, and they're like, Mom, I don't like when you share secrets with my, what I tell you to everyone. And that's repeatedly being done. You must forgive this person because now you're relying so much on that and just accept that this is who they are and where they're at. Now you just can't share things with them. And maybe you don't need to keep a relationship at that point and you love them and you see the God in them. But there are some things, there's some values I feel also that come in conflict, right? Love, respect, honesty, um, things like that. That to me is worth uh, the deepest form of respect and love. Because we're all unconditional love. I have, to, I have like that with my sister too. Like we're very close, uh, apart in age. We're not that close in age. And sometimes it's just like, oh, but I love her so much. We're 14 years apart, you know? Yeah. She's my best friend, so. Uh, let's see, any final thoughts? My thoughts? Mm -hmm. Final thoughts about love, life, relationships, forgiveness. To be honest, I haven't fallen in love with anyone. Yes. <laughs> what about yourself? Sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, like, if I, if, it, if I think that I can forget their mistake, or yeah, the mistake. Yeah. So I think I just let them go, and I don't like, care. I, I try to think that I don't care too much like, just like let them go and you don't need to be a part in my life anymore does it hurt you to feel closed off from people to not allow them in your life for me when i had this friend i loved my friend so much i loved him uh that it hurt when i was like trying to shut down to him and I would see he would try to send me messages like hey I'm really sorry I'd be like no and it just hurt because I, I wanted hello I wanted that exchange of energy I wanted to share with him even if I was upset and as feminine energy I feel that's so important to just uh, be that which is the mystery of life like Mother Nature is a storm at times. She's not always bearing life. She's a tsunami. She's a tornado. She is a storm. She will kill you. And then at the end, she's calm. So I feel for that uh, and to, to, to reach into who you are in your deepest essence, which is pure love, which is wanting and yearning to share your heart with someone. Maybe it's not the worst thing. Yes. To fall in love with yourself first. <laughs> And then to share that with others, even just, if you're angry. Like, just make yourself a free priority. Yeah. Yeah. So if you don't feel comfortable, just let them go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I love it. Thank you Thanks. so much. Bye. All right, Bye. lovers and friends. Uh, Ciao from Dina. <laughs> yeah, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> we'll see you Goodbye. later.